Brownie, that was a much improved performance against Birmingham the other night. It looked a, a good game to watch. Was it a good one to play in? Yeah, a few of the boys were saying this morning that they enjoyed enjoyed it because we actually got it down and had a bit of confidence on the ball and started passing it around a bit. So, in, in stark contrast to Saturday when you seem to be hustled out of it a little bit. Yeah, I think I think as soon as we start getting frustrated, it it becomes a problem that we start forcing things and. Trying to trying to go route one when really that's not probably the best option, but we end up getting frustrated, and that's where we got to learn very quickly that we still got to keep doing the play our game and keep trying to get the ball wide and get crosses into the box and don't get forced into going long ball. So, so the, the performance on Tuesday, or, or you didn't win the game, must have, must give you heart going into a, a fairly local derby on Saturday. Yeah, it gives us a little bit of confidence, you know. I think we we got to stick to playing with that higher tempo, you know. We got some fit lads. At this football club, and I believe that we're fit than other teams, so we got to start using that in our favour and picking up the tempo really high and and getting them worn out with our tempo. Going down to Yeovil, you've played against Yeovil before. It's it's always a a tasty atmosphere. Those yeah, sort, sort of games, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be a good atmosphere. You know, it's a, a local derby, as you say. It was, well, that's what they're going to paint it, hasn't they? But um, yeah, it'd be a good atmosphere. But for us, it's another game that we need to win. Um, we need to be winning games, and as good as the performance was on on Tuesday night, we need to win, and we're frustrated that we didn't win. What sort of game are you expecting? They they made a similar start. They lost their first league game. They lost in the in the Capital One Cup on Tuesday. It's going to be a tough game, you know. Is it? Is it? Is how we paint it, you know. Is how we go there, and if we pick up our tempo and and play our game, I, I don't think it'd be a a problem. But it's 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 one of those, you know. Is is how you how you approach the game, how you prepare. But I believe that after Tuesday night we're, we've got a bit of confidence now and hopefully we take that into Saturday. Change of formation on Tuesday seems to suit the majority of players out there. Is it, is it one you enjoy playing? Yeah, I, I enjoy it when we get it down. I think in that shape you've got to get it down and pass the ball. You know, It, it, it won't work if you start going back to front and miss out the midfield You know, because that's where your bodies are. And, in, in the middle of the park and you've got to use them. You've got to go through the thirds and get it wide and get your crosses in the box. And we did that on, on Tuesday. That's why I think a few of the boys enjoyed it because they were getting the touches of the ball um, and we did actually get it down and pass it. And you, you do have that in your locker that you can adapt and switch formations during the game, which some teams I've, I think struggle with, but you seem to yeah. switch quite seamlessly. And fair play to the manager, you know. He's, he, he said that we've got to have that versatility and that's what we got you know I think we switched to a 4-4-2 late on in the game and that that worked with the, both the full backs pushing on as well you know so it's good to be that versatile and that we can flip all different shapes and there's probably a few others that he's got up his sleeve as well and it's good to have them in the locker. You're missing one or two experienced players um, Macca and, uh, and Lee Mansell um, does that then fall on the Jermaine Easter to be the, the voice of experience and reason out on the pitch? Yeah, I, th- I think so. I think the difference from um, from Saturday to Tuesday was everyone stuck together, you know. No one got on anyone's back, especially on Tuesday. There was a lot of encouragement. There was a few bad passes from me, myself, and other people, you know. Was, everyone's going to make mistakes, but it's how we react as a team by the mistakes. Do we stick together or do we start getting on that person's back, you know? And last year, very much last year, we were we stuck together, you know. It wasn't a problem if someone made a mistake. You made it get you out of it. And I felt on Saturday we... We sort of just, it was the easy option to go, oh, oh, and one of those where on Tuesday it was like, no, I'll, I'll make sure I'll help him out and get it back for him, you know. So I think we've got to have that mentality and, and that'll get us a long way. You've mentioned the crowd on Tuesday night, it really got behind you in, in what was a, a pulsating cup tie. And it seemed to, not as many people there as Saturday, but they seem to make more noise on Tuesday. Yeah, a lot more noise, yeah. But that's what we got to do, you know, we got to get that. So it's our job to get the get the fans on our side and give them something to sing about. They're not just going to sing for no reason, uh, would you? You know what I mean? If, I ain't going to watch watching EastEnders, am I? But yeah, if if I, um, if I the team start giving something to cheer about their cheer, there's no, there's no question about that. It's just us giving them that, that little push to give them something to sing about. Confident you can get three points on the board on Saturday? Hopefully, yeah. Let, let, let's just see how it goes. You know, I don't want to say, yeah, we're definitely going to get three points. It's, it's not. It's not right. It's not fair on Yeovil. You know. Obviously, we're confident we can go there and and get a result, and so we should be. I guess the sooner you get something on the board, the better, isn't it, for morale? Yeah, I think I think the morale's not too bad. You know, um, considering it, I think it took 
I think it took three, four games before we won our first game last year, and you see how everyone panicked, and we ended up going on a on a 25, 26 unbeaten run in spells of last season. So let's not panic. Uh, there's no need to panic yet, and hopefully we get the first three points on on Saturday and kick on from now.